Yo guys, what's going on? Got some more Digimon TCG for PC. Uh, this is the automated simulator that I've been playing a lot recently and it's a ton of fun. Um, this game actually was updated recently to my knowledge. Um, I believe now it works in browser and on Android, I'm pretty sure. So you don't actually have to download it to play, which is pretty cool. Uh, but for me, I would highly recommend you guys just download it anyways. It runs the most smoothly that way. And if you're interested in that, I did a whole nother video and I'll have that in the link below. But anyways, guys, I I am playing red uh, this is a I don't want to say it's a 1.0 format but it's valid for the 1.0 format um, that you know we've been playing that we know it's officially releasing in January but there are some of the you know 1.5 cards missing anyways so I'm playing like a red deck at the bottom this is kind of based around like the starter deck tie and just playing a lot of aggressive cards you'll see you got metal Greymon there metal Greymon's a really interesting card because he does have security attack plus two which is crazy uh, however when you're attacking you do lose five memory so it's kind of a caveat there my opponent's playing green up top <clears throat> Just going to run into my security with that Goblimon and the Palamon. Putting me down at 3 already. However, they are out of monsters. And just going to play that Kokuamon. Uh, putting me at 4 memory. Or 2 memory, I believe. Okay, so 2 memory. And I'm bringing out the Metal Greymon. He does actually gain attack because of the Agumon. And he gains a security attack buff from the uh, Greymon. The inherited effect there. So I was very tempted to just swing. Might as well. Especially Metal Greymon's already strong. But 10 thousand with security attack uh plus three so he'll actually check four cards if everything works out well uh however i didn't really want to take the chance well first of all like he could have died right because i could have ran into like something stronger than ten thousand but then also i, I don't really want to lose five memory so it might have been for style points but i think phoenix mon is just a better play especially because you know my digimon will be rested and nine thousand isn't too difficult to get over uh twelve thousand is a little bit harder and i still do get the two security checks because of that Greymon. So I'm just going to attack with the Phoenix Mon, the ho -Oh Mon there, and then I'm just going to end my turn by playing the Agumon straight from my hand. So my opponent's going to reveal that Tanamon in the raising area, Digivolve into Togemon. Togemon is an awesome uh, ability where whenever he is Digivolve, you get to reveal the top three, and then I believe at a level five or higher, uh, just Digimon, any Digimon, it doesn't have to be green, uh, from that reveal pile to your hand, going to Digivolve into the Jagmon. Jagmon is a little bit uh, interesting. It's a scary card, kind of. It can be. It all depends on what, like, Megas he's got in his deck. Uh, there is actually, I believe, Grand Quagamon, maybe, is in this, in this simulator. Uh, so that could be a little bit of a problem, just digivolving that for free. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to attack with Phoenix Mon, check two more cards. I could get rid of the Agumon here. I do have two memories, so I could either go, like, Dark Tyranomon or Cordramon. Cordramon probably is better, uh, just because I do only have three security, uh, so just being able to protect myself. Omnimon, uh, I did actually draw into that, so that is awesome. I'm just going to Omnimon, get rid of the Jagmon, so I don't have to worry about him plussing um, off of the Jagmon effect. Now I've got a 15,000 attack monster. Attack multiple times, got security attack plus one, so there's just no way. Uh, I don't I don't think my opponent's going to be able to come back to this. So we see a Rosemon there as well. Uh, that that might have been an issue if he did Digivolve into, the, uh, you know, into that with the Jagmon, but just going to play that Palmon and then Digivolve into Vegemon and then another Jagmon, but that does put him over. That ends up being my turn again. Uh, I have Terra Force. I have uh, lots of options, but I can just go for a game. So I'm going to bring out that Dark Tyranomon and just swing with Omnimon. So Omnimon is going to attack Mimi and, you know, uh, use his effect to bounce the Phoenixmon back to my hand, become active again. And I did actually run into Forbidden Temptation, so which was a little bit crazy. Easy. Um, but it didn't end up mattering, so, because I just, you know, he didn't have any security left, I could just attack for game. So, uh, I am actually, we're going to go to game two, uh, and I believe, yeah, my opponent's going to start, and, you know, he's going to draw for turn. Uh, well, I guess he, he, he starts with five, he doesn't draw, like, the six card, anyways. He starts with five, he's going to reveal the Tanamon, Digivolve, and the Mushroomon. Mushroomon was, like, kind of terrible. Uh, he's good to play, but I don't know about Digivolving him. He is a one-cost, I think, yeah, he's a one-cost to Digivolve, which is, like, terrible. Uh, Kokuamon's a little bit better, because he does give you that, um, you know, security attack plus one. Now, I actually passed my turn here. I don't think I meant to do that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was, like, messing around, uh, like, like with the click like controls and stuff and i think when you click on your tamer icon it actually like passes uh like your turn for you so anyways that was that was a 
mistake on my part, but I'm going to pass my turn, and <laughs> my hand wasn't the best there anyway, so I, I think it's okay. Um, there was, like, if I had played something, it would have been, like, a blocker. It probably would have been Cordramon or, or the Groundramon or something. But anyways, he's going to attack with his Lilymon. He's got a Lilymon set up, which is a little bit scary. I really don't like our inherited effect. It's, I mean, like, for me, right? It, it's a little bit scary. It's, it's a very powerful effect, being able to rest anything, um, you know, that's not a blocker. And then, uh, he does also have the Vegemon there. It is my hatching phase, uh, Unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, like, actually, uh, any rookies to Digivolve. So, I'm probably just going to have to go straight for, like, a hard play here. Um, now, I don't, I still don't have any level 6s. It got double Omnimon in hand. I could play the Groundmon, because it's the same cost as, like, this Greymon or the Cordramon there. Uh, but I really do want to just start Digivolving up and, like, start drawing cards. I'm going to play Cordramon here, uh, just maybe, you know, to get around the Lilymon, and then protect my security if I, if I need it. I think I will need it, because he's got three Digimon in play. I've only got four security. He's just going to attack with the Lilymon. Uh, Lilymon, I think, is 6,000 or 7,000? Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to block it regardless. So the simulator does actually give you the option to block if you want. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm just going to uh, not do that and let him attack my security. He's going to run into the Terra Force, which is super lo lucky. That was awesome. Um, debating whether or not to destroy the Vegemon, just because, you know, he could get another security attack. In, but I, I really don't care. I just want to get the possibility of him dropping a level 6 out of here. Like, I don't want to deal with that. So I drew into the Metal Greymon there, which was cool. I'm going to have to, like... Um, um, you know, build up my blocker here. And probably not going to want to Terra Force. I could play Ty, right? That would guarantee me three memory every turn. And then maybe, you know, give me another turn in case I finally do draw a rookie. But I really just want to, like, start drawing cards. I, I, Ty is good. And I think I might play him at some point. But I really just want to start drawing cards. I did evolve into the Metal Greymon there. I could definitely attack. Uh, that, that might not be the best, but I think, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to Digivolve the Metal Greymon and then hard play the Cordramon. And this way, you know, I still got a block on field. He does start his turn with five memories, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But I'm really just trying to dig deeper into my deck. Just uh, uh, stall it out a little bit until, you know, I get a, either a rookie or a level six that I can Digivolve into. You know, Digivolve Metal Greymon to a level six and then go into uh, Omnimon after that. So finally, I did get the level six I needed. I got the War Greymon. Uh, I do, uh, you know, skip my hatching phase again because I still don't have any rookies. I promise you guys I am playing a decent amount of rookies. I think I'm playing 14. But anyways, I'm just going to skip over my hatching phase. And now, uh, how much memory do I have? I have one memory. So a, a little bit unfortunate that I won't be able to, like, go War Greymon. And then, like, you know, he has that effect where whenever he's Digivolved, he will be able to check one security. And then, uh, or sorry, whenever he, he gets another security check, he gets attack plus one. And and then, like, whenever you do check security, you don't reveal any option cards or, like, their effects don't activate. So I'm just going to play the tie. Uh, this way, you know, I leave him at one memory, and then I guarantee myself three for the next turn, so I'll be able to go uh, do that same play that I was just talking about. I'll be able to go uh, War Greymon, and I finally drew the Agumon. I don't really need you anymore, Agumon. I'm sorry. You came too late, man. So uh, he could have started attacking with the Vegemon. I, I probably wouldn't like it. That's I think he's, he's playing it correctly. However, I am playing Omnimon, like we saw in the last last game, and he's got double Vegemon on field. So I'm just going to Digivolve War Greymon. Uh, my opponent chooses not to block. I, I don't know if I, that, you know, that was the sound decision, uh, you know, because he does check two security cards. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to attack with the War Greymon, and then Digivolve straight into Omnimon. Omnimon's effect is going to activate, and then I'm going to be able to destroy a Vegemon, and then destroy all other Vegemons on his side of the field. So that gets rid of two of my opponent's Digimon, and the next turn, I've got an Omnimon with two attacks. I've got an Agumon and a Cordramon as well, so I will most likely be able to end the game. He's going to hard play a Titamon, uh, leaving me with four memory. I'm going to bring out the Agumon, and I think uh, here, I well, we could Terra Force. I could definitely Terra Force um, you know, if I don't end up gaming him, but I think right now, I'm just going to go for the kill. So let's just go ahead and attack with the Omnimon and then use his effect to uh, bounce back that War Greymon, which is super cool, because if this game goes on any longer, I could have that in my hand, get another security attack uh, check in. But I'm just going to attack with Omnimon, attack again, because he got to make himself active again. And then I'm just going to attack with the remainder of my two Digimon here. So we are going to see, I'm debating, I think, and we're just going to 
Maybe Terra Force? No, I think just okay, okay, yeah. Let's let's Terra Force. Might as well. Okay, whatever. No need to rush. No need to rush things. So let's just Terra Force. Get rid of his threat. And now my opponent has four uh, memory. I do have three Digimon on field, but with it, his only one security, I don't think he'll be able to do too much. So we're just going to see a hard play Togemon, which is a little bit unfortunate for him. But Omnimon's gonna become active. I'm going to reveal that Yokomon the hatching area. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's Digivolve. Draw some more cards. Uh, maybe we run into shenanigans in the in the security check, but nope, I'm just going to attack with the Omnimon, and that is going to be game. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, uh, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.